and strange. Coast man strange. Bad. Oink. UI. Or Nicolau. Nibu. Bandai water devil. The long neck cryptid. Reported from Central African Republic. Bo. Shuru. And Garano rivers. But possibly also. For Ethical. Guiana. It was sometimes. Have been lumped together. The Mikuru. Mikuli. Mariri. According to Lincoln, the Guru's informants, the Baguru is a soft and hairless gigantic snake between five and th- uh, five meters, meters wide, according to its track, with a flat snake like head, a little larger than a, f- of a python, a neck much longer. And as of a giraffe, as thick as a man's thigh, its skin is said to be in the markings, like those of a snake, with pellet on the side. The Guguru Guguru, considered the regional name for the Bagururi, is described simply as an enormous snake with leaves, track sized tracks. It appeared to be not to be dangerous, unlike a large number of Central American cryptids said to kill but not eat hippopotamuses. In case of the Bungurai, it kills them by strangling them to death as their bodies are found without injuries. It feeds on the branches of trees, lifting up its head without even water. No torso has been ever been reported. Sightings, Sutra, 1890. In, a, in 1934, an old Bayer man named Misura told the incident of Bukuru, the Kanda Bagori, when he was about 14 years old, before the Uperians arrived, Bakuri estimated that it was about 1890. Masuru was lying with the fish tracks of his father in Kuru stream during, during at about 1 p.m. during the middle of the rainy season, when he saw Bagori browsing on the leaves of Roto Tree. 1928, Bagori was said to have crushed a field of Magnanic belonging to Linda Banana Chief in 1928, leaving behind tracks between three and five feet wide. At around the same time, the same beast killed Hippopotamus, the Bokuru River, near Chief Makoro's village, villages at the date Hippopotamus. 1930. In 1945, Bokuru Gumbara Makiko claimed to have seen the tracks Nakuru Nakuru's Guguru about 15 years previous. Although the Bakuru has never been described as having any bo- uh, body, Bernard Havermans suggests that it's not that it likely does have a does have a bulky torso beneath the water, as a real snake would not be able to, to lift its head far out of the water unless it was sitting on cold up on the bottom. Havernes also notes that browsing on notes on the leaves would be very unusual diet choice for a snake. And Roy B. Beckerel points out that not a single known snake is herbivorous. The Bakuru is frequently overrated compared to the Muguru Remembri, which is reported from the Republic of Congo, Cameroon, to southwest of Bakuru's alleged range. Hanuman writes, it may well be identical with the Manaru, Manabi, Manaru, since they both have a snake's head, a long neck, and both smooth sting skin. They both eat leaves through the low, and they, they attack and kill anything which annoys them. They do not eat them. They also live in neighboring areas, in the Gubu Shurai, in the Cameroons, both ordered by the contributors of Ugoi, the Bengari, also leaves a similar trail to the Skuru Redevu, another long necked reptile. Mankuru, on the other hand, connects the Baguru to Rakuru, Rani, and Luru, which he believed may be some sort of giant monitor lizard. Further reading Bernard Hammonds on the track of unknown animals. Bernard Hammonds, less. Dunamir's Dragons of the Africa, 